What's going on YouTube? Funko Hunter here and today it's Tuesday so you already know we're going to be talking something up. What's it going to be today on episode 2? Hmm. Everything that's still in our mind. New York Comic Con Funkos and there's a ton of new news. I know my last video I had a bunch of information that a lot of people didn't know. So I thought this would be, week would be a great week to put out another video with a bunch of information even information that I got two seconds before I made this video. So I put that in here. So this is gonna be real recent information. So let's get right into it. All right guys, we're in the computer now. Let's get to it. If you like videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Really helps me know that you enjoyed the video. Makes me make some more videos like this for you guys. So the buzz around town right now, everyone's talking about it. Everyone's waiting on it. The anticipation is crazy right now. We're all waiting for New York Comic Con. It's right around the corner. And every week, it seems like we're getting more and more news. Some good, some bad. So let's get right into it. This is some of the news for people attending. Um, unfortunately, I don't get to attend this year. Sad, 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 but it's all right. Hopefully, many of you get to go and be very happy with everything that's there. Maybe next year, I'll get to go. That'd be super cool. But... I'll be able to go to all of the stores and hunt for all the shared exclusives. So that'll be a thrill for me. Let's get right into this though. If you are going, they are going to have a lottery. If you're confused what the lottery is, it's basically a way that they can have all these people go to certain booths that they choose from their first um, choosing, their second choosing, and their third choosing. Basically, it's likeness. Like, if you're going to want to go to the entertainment exclusive booth to basically get the entertainment pops, or if you're going to go to Toy Tokyo to get the Toy Tokyo pops, or if you want to go to the Funko shop to get the Funko pops, basically, it organizes it and makes it so people, A, can go in a nice, fashionably way, I'm assuming, so it's not crazy and people scurrying all over and cutting lines. And another reason is so that people can't mass buy these companies going there, mass buying them and reselling them on their websites. Great idea, great strategy by Funko to keep the community happy and keep the prices like not going crazy. So really happy about this. Um, gives us a little more information on times and stuff here. Um, and the main part of the reason I picked this is the bottom is the pricing. Um, similar to San Diego Comic-Con, if you were collecting then, we have the regular pops for 15, 30 for the two packs, and it looks like for the three packs, 35 bucks. So that's not bad, $5 more for another Funko in there um, compared to the two packs, which are 30. Not bad. Um, typical pricing there. Pop tees is a really good one, I think. Um, you're getting a tee and a pop. Uh, if that's the way it's definitely going to work out, 20 bucks. The steal. You're getting a shirt and a pop. Pretty good pricing right there. Pop Ride, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of confused, or I don't know if this is a typo, or I'm just not seeing something, but those are going to go for 40 um, maybe more news to come about those, maybe we just, uh, they haven't announced them or shown them yet, but uh, 6 inch Pops, 25 bucks seems typical pricing there, and vinyls are going to be at 20 uh, this information, if you're wondering, comes from Twitter, it comes from at Diz Funko. Uh, they always have a great information so if you're looking for some check them out so we got all that there pretty good pricing something that's left out of here that's some recent news our funko towns are gonna be fifty dollars that's right fifty dollars for a funko town I i'm not sure how i feel about this um i haven't purchased a funko town the only ones that I can kind of think of are like the Ghostbuster ones that I really have seen or know that is a town. I'm sure there's a bunch of other ones. Maybe there isn't or maybe there's something new that they're getting more into, but I don't know about that. Yeah, $50 just seems really high unless it's... I know that the, the Ghostbuster one is a big building, so I don't know, but I didn't think it was $50. I don't know. So let's get into our next news here. We have the shared exclusives. They've announced some of them already. So this information comes from Marvel Pop Hunter again over at Twitter. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It may get a little fuzzy for us here, but 
Uh, it's going to be a little easier for you guys to see on your end, I imagine. At the top left, it looks like we are going to have two Funkos going to Amazon. Uh, we already know one going to BAM. There's one going to Walgreens. We got two at GameStop as of this moment right now, and that looks like that's going to be the pop T right there. All right. Over here, we have the 1500 piece. That's got to be the ride right there. That's the $40 ride, I would imagine. Uh, I think that's the Mickey on one of the rides from Disney World. Not entirely sure. Um, but I guess that's our ride, so we know that much now. And that looks like, as of this moment, it's going to be a select piece for Comic-Con only. So those have been named for Comic-Con only. Uh, Barnes & Nobles, they're going to get one, two, the two-pack, three, four. Oh, they're going to get the, is that the Donald? Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so they're going to get four over there. Barnes & Noble is getting a good amount. Uh, Funko Shop getting two. That's a big surprise right now. I, I, I foresee a lot of Funkos going to the Funko Shop. Uh, Funko Shop usually does, I would say, at least four to five. Um, San Diego had a bunch. So hopefully more to come out of there. Our next three, uh, I don't know. I, I believe the silver icon means that they haven't been chosen yet or hasn't been discussed where it's going yet. Uh, no surprise on the next one, the Vegeta. I can't wait for that one. That one's going to be a Hot Topic. Simpson one from Hot Topic. Uh, the one that hasn't been revealed yet, That the two right here um, in the middle are going to be Rick and Morty Funkos. I believe they're going to be like the alien that I have back here from Rick and Morty. I believe it's going to be something like that. And my big thing right now is... Uh, they've announced a lot. I don't know if anyone follows Rick and Morty, but season three is going to be coming out and they've announced a couple of bigger stars that are going to be guest appearing on the season. So I I have a kind of a hunch that a lot of these like little alien people that they're showing and stuff are going to be celebrities and stuff. And that's why they're getting Funkos made. I could be completely wrong, but it's a pretty good uh, guess from me. Uh, Hot Topic getting another two right there. They're getting the six inch pop and the cool Doctor Who pop that I'm not really familiar with. Uh, FYE, I wish I had one around me. They're going to get the two pack, another Simpson one there. Um, then we got a couple more that haven't been announced. Toy Tokyo getting four. Box Lunch, we already kind of knew this. They are getting the Up House there with Carl the Bird. And then uh, we are looking at Target. Target's going to get the uh, Space Suit and the Liberty Hello Kitty, I believe that is. And other than that, oh, we have Walmart right here. It's going to get the exclusive Stan Lee from, I believe that is Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Where he has a Space Suit uh, cameo, but that's going to be a cool one. Uh, Samurai Jack hasn't been announced or anything yet. I'm kind of leaning more towards that. I have been. These two right here from My Hero Academia. I'm still waiting on those. I'm very excited for those. Um, so, a lot more news. This all comes out from Marvel Pop Hunter again over at Twitter. Thank you for making this awesome little, you know, guide here for all of us. Pretty awesome. You know, so it looks like a lot of our Funkos have started to spread and i believe by the end of this week maybe next week we'll know where every single one of these are gonna be um hopefully by then but brings me to my next topic we talked about it a little earlier the 50 dollars town and uh from what i know this is gonna be the 50 dollars town the uptown right here and it looks like our image got cut off a little bit so let's scroll back up it's going to be right here. This is going to be our $50 town. So let's zoom in just for a second here and take a look at this. If this is going to be our $50 town here, um, this house better be big. I mean, this is something I was really, really looking forward to. Um, I don't usually have the best experiences with box lunch unless I buy online. So that's not a problem, but... I don't know, $50, it seems like a lot to shell out on one pop. I mean, it is a town, uh, maybe if it's really big, but another thing is there's not that many up pops that I even have or I even know of. So 
the idea of a $50 pop town just just seems a little stretched here. Um, I honestly would have been okay if this was a two pack and the car was just a little smaller than the house or like, or, or something. Uh, but I kind of get it. Maybe the house is way too big and that's why it is. But this would be an interesting one to see uh, coming up in the weeks when we see an actual glam shot of it, what it actually looks like. Uh, that'll be one to definitely look for is what I'm going to say. You never know. That one could turn out to be even unreal when we see it in person. So we'll keep our eye out on that. The news that I was talking about that happened right before I got on. We got another announcement of Funkos. These are going to come from two stores. One's going to be teaming up with somebody that I don't think anyone's going to see this one coming. Here are two stores that are just released info on their Funkos. To the left here, we have the GameStop exclusive. That's right, Hero Killer Stain. I cannot wait for that one. It is, oh, look at that. And look at the fall. That looks like the 2019 fall convention limited edition sticker on that. That looks like the shared exclusive sticker there. So it's very similar to the Comic-Con sticker. It has the Statue of Liberty on it. That's what I think is really going to be cool about this sticker this year, too. Um, and to the right, this is the one I think is going to shock a lot of people. We have Target teaming up with Entertainment Earth. I don't think anyone saw this coming. I don't know if it's an exact team up or what the scenario is, but from what I've got and what information I've kind of pieced together, it looks like Target exclusives that are going to be coming out on 10-6 are going to be shared at the Comic-Con New York event with Entertainment Earth. That means the booth of Entertainment Earth is going to share all of these Funkos right here. We got the Metallic Rock, you got the 10-inch Squirtle, and you got these super cool Chrome. I know we don't like Chrome. I know what's going to happen already. But these are really cool for Batman fans. I don't think we've seen a Joker like this. This is a really cool Joker. And the chrome, it's not like you get your gold chrome. These are chromes based upon like this, the color scheme of Joker, I would say. So I think these are really cool and a really great addition. And I kind of was blown away by this news too. So this is the news that just came out. The My Hero Academia, Hero Killer Stain. That's a brand new news right there. I don't, I don't, I might be the first one telling you, but I know that it's online now. Um, Bearded Pop Hunter shared this photo over on Twitter. Um, he's a great Funko YouTuber. If you're not following him, make sure follow him. He's great. Um, I can't wait for that. Now I'm really, really, ex really excited. Um, so that is all the news that I have for you guys. If you guys really enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you're really looking for now for Comic-Con. Leave it in the comments below. I'll comment back uh, what I think. And I'll see all of you tomorrow for another great unboxing. I'm the Funko Hunter. You're the Hunter. And I'll see you guys next time.